when you think about a brand, you think about the soul of what makes it what it is, right? Your, your, the people are moving together towards a set of values. Those values are about the people around you and the environment, which a lot of people just go into corporate culture. I actually think it's interesting because I always look at it more so as if there's brand culture, there's an energy that buzzes around Nike campus, right? There is something about walking around that place that you feel, uh, you know, you're a part of something. Only real content is gonna last. All that other nonsense is here today and gone tomorrow. So your experience with brand is extends, obviously. And sometimes I feel like companies that are kind of brought up in, uh, in an industry that isn't so focused on culture, don't necessarily always blend the brand with the company. Um, so I wanted to get your thoughts on like, maybe what the differences are to you, how they intertwine and uh, just your experience. Sure. Um, it's interesting because I think that I always find there's a distinction between the brand and the company, but the core elements of what make those things what they are can kind of ebb and flow, which is why you feel big companies or big brands have that kind of internal struggle. They change. This year, it's a little bit more focused on the brand side this year it's a little more focused as a company because of a necessity right it's it's part of businesses survival part of businesses adaptation and the same things in the world of brand right it's it's the same kind of evolution so uh you know it's it's interesting to me in that i feel like the the core differences are when you think about a brand you think about the soul of what makes it what it is right your mm -hmm. your the people are moving together towards a set of values those values are about the people around you and the environment, which a lot of people just go into corporate culture. I actually think it's interesting because I always look at it more so as if there's brand culture, there's an energy that buzzes around Nike campus, right? There is something right. about walking around that place that you feel, uh, you know, you're a part of something. Um, that actually, in my mind, is more about the way the brand makes you feel than necessarily the way the company makes you feel. On the company side of things, right, there is a set of values that a group of people are driving towards. But those values are more delivered into driving the business and growing teams and doing the things that make the business grow on those sets of values. They're not exclusive to each other. In fact, the, the great companies are able to balance how they chase both sets of values through one unified group of people that make up the brand and company. And that's where I think it's interesting when you get to brands like Nike or or uh, or Adi or those that that their name commands an energy in both spaces, that's an incredible feat. That's an incredible notion that you have something that is both a brand and a company. That struggle can be real because it it, it creates tension in that not every move provides both sides of that equation what they need. And it's interesting because I think the circumstances of the pandemic, the way that the world has changed so much, and we've all come to have conversations like this, like mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. uh, it is, it has forced the hand of so many uh, industries as a whole, right? To change the way they think, to make a call about let's zig or zag or change how we used to be or triple down on what we've stood for. And right. I think those are things that are, are interesting to watch because you're seeing which companies are moving from companies more to leaning into their brand which brands are moving from being brands and leaning more into being the company because of the circumstances around them. Um, and that to me is the, the core of everything, right? We're, we're all just products of circumstance. What is my reaction to what, what stands before me? And then how do we move on to the next thing to react to?